Hello and welcome to my channel, China where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodukonyedi and I'm your host. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I want to say a very big thank you, very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed and all who has been sending encouraging words. We say we really, really appreciate you. We really appreciate you very, very much. Um, uh, Idris Isa Oshiza. He said, Good morning, my engineer. May the Lord continue to bless you. Sir, how do you lay them my grid and column if you want to import from AutoCAD to Prota? Okay. Um, we will look to that. We will look to that. But I just want to say a big thank you to to everyone who has been sending encouraging words. And Charles Rongo, you said well done. I appreciate that. And we have music video. You said insight, insightful. Thanks, the great engineer. Uh, music video. I appreciate you. I'm a newly graduate civil engineer from Edo State. I appreciate you very much um, you said speaking of online course please do you offer course for m and e uh that's mechanical and um electrical um for for now we'll say no but we have partners that um, does that so but if you are really interested in it please send me a mail um, check our mail is there send a mail then I will I will tell you how to go about it we have Richard Basima you say great engineering and thank you engineer uh, Richard I appreciate all these um, encouraging words I really really appreciate each and every one of you each and every one of you um, I really appreciate everyone who has been sending you uh, Charles Rongo you say thank you or oh, sir all the way from Tanzania all the way from Tanzania um, you said you have a question so but for now we we just want to say thank you to everyone who has um, sent in um, the encouraging words encouraging words you said hi this is george from kenya how do we solve the problem of computed beams in prota structure please i if you can explain what you mean george aguto uh, if you can explain more of it what do you mean by com okay corrupt beam how do you solve the problem of corrupt beam in prota corrupt beam please explain better and um, we we um, um, respond to you today we'll be talking about settings in beam how do you set beam if your beams are not properly set then you'll be having issues with your 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 modeling and the rest so that is what we will do so the first thing you need to do in setting uh, creating your beam settings is to go to settings click on settings go to beam design settings then go to story beam settings so i still want to say if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button that is the only way you can encourage us to keep doing this that we are doing so we love you and keep subscribing so if you click on settings and parameter of story beam you see the first um, uh, drop down menu you see or uh, it will be uh, designed the next is parameters t bar selection curtailment and detailing so this is where 
you do your design this is where you do your design um, if you leave the edges at zero this is what concrete cover this the concrete cover this is what it will take but most time I really don't um, touch it because the default setting is is okay for me so if you go to the next one the parameter this is where you put your minimum beam diameter your maximum beam diameter your web steel diameter this is where you put the number of hang over bars um, your minimum hang anger bars and diameter this is it and you feel here then um, another important place you pay attention to is your link spacing your maximum span link spacing if you do um, 300 it the computer we make sure that all the links that will be appearing on your proto detail will be and your design will be 300 so most time I advise you to do either 200 or 250 200 or 250 let's say 250 we do another 250 here yeah? 250 you are done with this parameter go to the next one and uh, most time I really don't touch this part I really don't touch this part I, I leave it at the default settings I leave it at the default settings so you can play with this I leave this this for me is okay but where you go to the next one the curtailing curtailing this is where you determine all this but majorly um, I don't touch them because okay for this you can say and uh, lap inside the bar inside the support depending on how you want you can play you can play around with this but majorly I, I leave it at the default settings all this I leave at default default settings at default settings um, when you come here this the area I touch majorly is parameter I work on parameter and my detailing these are two very important area I work on on my beam settings general general I really don't touch um, much about general here you go to beam how do you want your beam label to appear you may choose it to to appear this way if you don't want that you may choose it to appear like this if you don't want that you may choose it the reference whatever you want is up to you and um, beam label list boy uh, this one uses the as this as line which is not what we want now go to settings you either have a zero setting cut if you don't want any settings to show you can use zero settings or you use different beams on it and it will it will do at the support and span section or you say all the beams uh, all the beams it will cut every one of them but that's not what um, we want when you click on this different beam you click on majorly that's what I do what I do is I click on the span section only I can click on the span section only so that I just take a, 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 a just a single a single section or you choose for it to take at multiple section does it so it all depends on what you want um, it all depends on what you want so you can play around with this and see how it is you may choose to whatever you 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 want you may choose to play with it this way it all depends on um, it 
what you want so it all depends on how you want it if you want a b you want this whatever but i prefer using one two three that is what i prefer so boy it's up to you whatever you chooses you can do that why for um this next one um this you we 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 have to check and uncheck and see reports the bar below the if the the beam if you want the reinforcement to show below the beams once you detail it and once you want to once you want to export to prota or make bring it out this is how it will show you if you prefer this fine but majorly i think this is very good for when you want your bar schedule you can use this then you can change if you don't want the annotation of the steel bars in your beam you uncheck this but if you prefer not to have this is okay then annotation on the beam so just keep um playing with all this but majorly i don't like my 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 beam coming out this way this section of my beam coming out this way so for me to solve that problem i uncheck use this uh, i strut e style annotation once you click on it it will give you this i think i prefer i prefer this particular style i prefer this particular style so if you say print t bars information if you don't want you click it so it, it goes out it all depends on what you want if you don't want the kicker detail you you click on this and it will take out all the kicker showing where there's a lap length and the rest it will take it out display whatever it is now to this part when you say draw a link line extending by link size mm. so whatever you do just check it and see then print total a uh, link quantity print at, at times it may come out this way it may come out this way with just y10 at 250 so but if you want the quantity to appear you check this and check this to give you the quantity that you say draw link label in line as in in line there but if you don't want you you draw it this way so if you 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 want it to be below whatever you want you can do that it's up to you if you want that this is it so you've detail this area come to sidebar if you have a sidebar most time i leave i leave this the way it is I leave it the way it is then finally i come to dimension dimension if you want your bar to to be on top whatever you want you you check and see most time um whatever it is this is you just keep checking and see the one that you want if it's okay by you fine but if not just check check as much as you can and um, once you finish this part then you click okay or save once you've done save it automatically say do you want to update all beam record for the new sec section settings you say yes and it will do that so whatever you you bring out whatever you bring out that is what it will bring finally but if you just want a quick review or to see how this will look in proto detail click on detail drawing it will bring it out and that is what you will see exactly how you you want it that is how it will come out so this is um, 
this is how you create your beam settings and if you have any questions still please let me know just um, um, comment on the comment section telling us if if everything is clear if it's clear please let me know if you if you enjoy the lecture please let me know if this video was helpful still let me know and if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and we will be glad to put up more videos remain blessed until i come your way next time thanks